1966, they're around. Ali Roberts, John Duddy get life imprisonment recommended 30 years. They go to Wands of Prison. Whilst they're in Wands of Prison, they're in there for quite some time. Uh, the Craze, in 1969, get sentenced to prison for 30 years. A life's 30 years. The same sentence, I believe, yeah. They also go to Wands of the firm as well, yeah. Ali Roberts, John Daly, don't get on with Reggie and Ronnie Cray for some reason. Reggie and Ronnie Cray slips into John Daly, give him a bit of a clump, and Ali Roberts gets to find out. Ali Roberts can have a right fight, he's no mug, yeah. He jumps into Reggie's cell because Ronnie Cray shut his door, and Ronnie, Reggie, Reggie Cray is sitting down, he jumps up, as he jumps up, bang! Ali Roberts hits him on the chin, he gets to the floor. There's, there is a little saying that Ali Roberts put, uh, sorry, Reggie Cray put Ali Roberts on his ass. he didn't. Yeah. Ali Roberts put him on his ass. Reggie got up, Ali Roberts hit him again, and bump, falls, on, falls on the bed, jumps on top of him, bashes Reggie Cray right up. Walks out the cell, slams the door. Because there's all screaming and all, and all that, the screws are involved. See Harry Roberts coming out of the cell, they take Harry Roberts on the block. John Duddy's left there by himself now. So John Duddy looks like he's in a cockpit from the Cray Twins. He winds up getting shipped out as well as Harry Roberts. They both go because there must be something being said, yeah? They both go. They believe it was the Cray's that grasped them up to get them shipped out. So they go to another Nick. Done them a favour, really. When they go to another Nick, they meet a guy called Peter Gibbs. Well, Peter Gibbs knows Harry Roberts very well because Peter Gibbs is local. He's a local person where Harry comes from and also John Dully, yeah? They've got a bit of firm. It's all firm from that area, yeah? So Peter Gibbs is a fraudster. Uh, a dangerous man, Peter. He shot a few people. Gets a bit of big bit of bird. Nine, ten years, something like twelve years, and they go to Parkhurst. John Duddy doesn't go to Parkhurst. Goes somewhere else. So it's Peter Gibbs and A. Roberts to uh, them two are together in Parkhurst. Who comes to Parkhurst? Reggie and Ronnie Cray. So Reggie and Reggie Cray, when they get there, they find out that A. Roberts is there, but not on the same wing. So A. Roberts gets the phone on that, the Crays have just come there and they're not on the same wing. But Peter Gibbs is on the same wing as the Crays. They get to know about Peter Gibbs and they walk out to see Peter Gibbs. But whilst doing Peter Gibbs' his cell, Peter, they notice that Peter Gibbs does paintings. And on the wall is a painting of Harry Roberts and John Duddy. And also, next to it, is a painting of the craze, where Peter Gibbs has copied it from a paper. Fantastic artist and a con man, yeah? And he can have a white towel well. So, Reggie Cray and Ronnie Cray uh, want to know where that he got the painting from, from them two. So he's told them whatever he's told them, from the paper or whatever it is, a book or whatever. So now they've seen the signatures underneath the two people's bodies, yeah? They want, he wants to know where they got the, how they got that signature because it isn't their signature, but it looks like it could be. So he sells them, that's what I do. I paint, bump, that's what I do. So now, Reggie and Ronnie Cray want Peter Gibbs to start doing pictures of them, paintings. So Peter Gibbs said, no problem. As long as you paint, look, look after me, give me what I want, I'll do anything you want to do. I'll do that, you know. But they don't realise that Peter Gibbs can have a right fight, and Harry Roberts and him are very close. So he knows, Peter, that Harry Roberts has bashed up Reggie Cray. He knows that. So he knows, he, he ain't saying nothing, but he knows what these two are like now. All of a sudden, Reggie and Ronnie kept Cray come in, they start bullying Peter, but Peter won't stand for that shit, yeah? So one day, Ronnie Cray, the schizophrenic psychopath, he comes into the cell and has a go at Peter Gibbs. Peter Gibbs stabs him with a paintbrush 
that he snapped off, yeah, stabs Wani Cray in the side. Wani Cray runs out screaming that he's been stabbed by Peter Gibbs. Everybody says, oh, Wani Cray is this, Wani Cray is that. But Wani Cray grasped Peter Gibbs up. He knows he did. And he also knows, right, well, not knows, he also feels that Reggie Wani Cray grasped up Harry Roberts and, and John Duddy when I was in Wandsworth. So now Peter Gibbs, right, because he stabbed uh, Wani Cray in the side, the screws come in and take him out. But not only when they take him out, they start smashing up Peter Gibbs's paintings and stuff and give uh, Wani Cray a couple of paintings that, from him. They, this Wani Cray thing is a big thing, mate. He's like, they reckon he can become more like fucking mad grass in there, Wani Reggie Cray, yeah? So Peter Gibbs now gets shipped out uh, he meets A. Roberts in, a, in another prison and it's, it tells him what's going on. And A. Roberts has gone, yeah, mate, them two, Grass bringing Johnny Duddy up, that's where we got shipped out, right? And now Ali Roberts and John Duddy and Peter Gibbs are together. They're getting shipped about a bit, but they're still together. Ronnie Cray gets shipped to Broadmoor. Reggie Cray stays in Parkhurst. But Harry Ro but uh, Ronnie Cray, when he's in Baltimore, he meets this other guy, I forget his name. I'm trying to find his name up, who's Peter Gibbs's brother in law, yeah? And this guy can have a right fight. He can have a right fight. Evidently, he bashes up Ronnie Cray really, really bad in Baltimore bashed him up, yeah? And Wally Cray also grasses him up. So he gets shipped out. So Wally Cray, in my eyes, is a bad grass. And also Reggie Cray. And it's all kept silent, yeah? But I've only just found a lot out, you know, because it's coming. After a while, you get to find out things, yeah? Anyway, bang, bang, rail. Nice one.